Kyoto. It is hard to describe its allure. It is the ancient capital of Japan and the cultural heart of the country. That is the description, but it fails to capture the spirit. Nestled between mist-covered mountains, Kyoto weaves together history, tradition, and natural beauty. It is a captivating destination for those interested in Japan. But Kyoto is not frozen in the past. It is a dynamic city where the past and present coexist. Modernity intertwines with tradition, creating a unique blend of old and new. Kyoto pulses with life while preserving the spirit of its imperial legacy. The history of Kyoto goes all the way back to the 8th century. Once known as Heianquo, it was established as the imperial capital in 794. Over the centuries, Kyoto served as the epicenter of Japanese politics, culture, and religion. In the Heian period, Kyoto flourished as the home of the imperial court. The city's layout reflects the influences of China and Japanese aesthetics, with palaces, gardens, and shrines meticulously planned. During the next 500 years, Kyoto endured the chaos of wars and feudal strife. However, in the Edo period, it regained stability under the Tokugawa shogunate, becoming a hub for arts and crafts. In the Meiji Restoration in 1868, the imperial capital moved to Tokyo, yet Kyoto preserved its cultural heritage. Over the centuries, Kyoto has endured many wars and fires. It stands as a living testament to Japan's past. Kyoto emerged from the 20th century unscathed. Due to its exceptional historic value, the city was dropped from the list of target cities for the atomic bomb and escaped destruction during World War II. Countless temples, shrines, and other historical priceless structures survive in the city today. Kyoto's history is not confined to museum. It lives and breathes. Japan's religious landscape has been shaped by the coexistence of Shintoism and Buddhism for centuries. Because of this, Kyoto boasts a large number of Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines, each with its own unique style and significance. With over a thousand years of history, these hallowed grounds each tell a story of spiritual devotion and artistic mastery. Kyoto's temples, such as Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion, and Ginkakuji, the Silver Pavilion, are iconic Zen Buddhist landmarks adorned with gold leaf or silver foil, offering a glimpse into an era of opulence. The Kiyomidazera, a historic and iconic Buddhist temple, is perched on wooden stilts in the eastern hills of Kyoto, merging architectural marvels with the beauty of nature. The temple is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, one of 17 such sites in Kyoto. Shinto shrines like the Fushimi and Nari Taisha celebrate the Shinto spirit, inviting visitors to traverse a symbolic journey. The most distinctive feature is the Sinban Tori, a path lined with thousands of vermilion Tori gates that lead up to the main shrine buildings on Mount Inari. In the sacred footsteps of these gates, Fushimi and Nari whispers tales of timeless devotion to the Shinto god of rice, fertility, and prosperity with foxes acting as messengers and guardians. Each Tory gate has been donated by individuals and businesses as an offering for good fortune and prosperity. The Tory gate pathway extends up the wooded slopes of Mount Inari, creating a mesmerizing tunnel-like effect. Along the way, there are numerous smaller shrines and fox statues contributing to the spiritual ambiance. These sacred sites both Buddhist and Shinto, are not mere structures. They are a modern-day part of Japanese spirituality, hosting traditional ceremonies, festivals, and rituals that echo through the centuries. Throughout Kyoto, there are multiple areas and landmarks that are unique and inviting. The Jian area is sometimes known as the Geisha District. 
there is a high concentration of traditional wooden merchant houses. Due to the fact that property taxes used to be formally based upon street frontage, the houses were built with narrow facades, only five to six meters wide, but extend up to 20 meters in from the street. At the entrance of the Jian area is the Yasaka Shrine. It stands as a guardian of traditions. Its lantern-lit pathways evoke the spirit of ancient festivals, offering a glimpse into the city's spiritual soul. Arashiyama is the second most important sightseeing district in Kyoto. It's filled with temples and shrines, but the star attraction is the famed Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. It is west of Kyoto, tucked along the base of the Arashiyama Mountains. The serene bamboo grove is a majestic forest of towering bamboo stalks that provides tranquility and a beautiful walk if you can arrive before the crowds. In contrast, the Kyoto Tower rises above the city, offering panoramic views of the urban landscape and surrounding mountains, a contemporary structure against Kyoto's historical backdrop. You can also visit Nijo Castle, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, or the Kyoto Imperial Palace that invites you to explore the refined elegance of imperial architecture and gardens. As you wander these landmarks, you get a chance to savor the essence of Kyoto, a city where every stone, tree, and structure tells a story and where the past resonates harmoniously with the present. These landmarks are living chapters in Kyoto's narrative. Kyoto's food scene begins with Kyoto's Kitchen, Nishiki Market. It is a bustling marketplace that spans over five blocks. It offers a vibrant display of fresh produce, seafood, and Kyoto's local specialities. It is a haven for street food enthusiasts who want to indulge in skewers of grilled yakitori, try skewered octopus, or sample tofu skin dishes, a Kyoto specialty. Kyoto Station includes Ramen Street and offers a variety of ramen shops, each with its unique twist. Kyoto-style ramen typically features a light soy-based broth and thin noodles. It is also a hub for Ekiben, beautifully crafted bento boxes featuring Kyoto's local delicacies. These make for a convenient and delicious meal, showcasing the elegance of Kyoto's cuisine on the go. Pontocho is a historic alley famous for traditional tea houses and riverside dining. Indulge in Kaiseki, a multi-course dining experience that artfully presents seasonal ingredients. Experience the delicate flavors of Obanzai, traditional Kyoto homestyle cooking in one of the intimate restaurants lining the narrow alleys. Whether you're exploring the lively stalls of Nishiki Market, grabbing a quick bite at Kyoto Station, or enjoying an elegant dining experience along the river in Pontecho, Kyoto's cuisine isn't just a feast for the palate, it's a journey through time. Make sure to savor every bite. Compared to Tokyo, time moves a little slower in Kyoto. These two cities are often described as the yin and yang of Japan. Not all of Kyoto is traditional. It does not always feel like you are stepping back in time. It is not like an old quaint European town. It often has a romanticized notion as the old world Japan. Although the temples, shrines, and some of the architecture do transport you back in time, Kyoto is at once traditional and modern. It is a somewhat gritty city with a jumble of power lines and concrete facades. Kyoto is a real place, filled with real people employed in a range of occupations. Kyoto happens to be one of the most popular travel destinations in the world thanks to its traditional soul that features a strong mix of history and culture. But the flow of tourists could slow to a trickle tomorrow and Kyoto would continue to thrive. If you think it will be like an old Shogun movie, you will surely be disappointed. But when you traverse the cobblestone paths of centuries-old temples, shrines, and ancient castles, 
Kyoto is a sublime spiritual experience, a city that has the rich culture of a major metropolis and the quiet intimacy of a small town.